will, and she'll obviously want the victory first as we now concentrate, as it seems the whole sport has concentrated on Marcel Hoog, who is in the park and now racing towards the finish. He's going to win. Now he's got his eye on that course record of 125.26, and right now, so he's inside of, uh, what he's got, we're doing the math quick, like 45 seconds to see if he gets here, and we'll watch him through these final pushes, the final stage. What a career for this guy, that he is going to come through and win his 32nd World Marathon Major, that he is going to sweep all six of these as he is in the Volvo final mile. The nickname is perfect for him. He is, there is no silver quicker than the silver bullet, to be sure. Going for his sixth title right here, and here he comes. That comes around. He's come into view to the fans here at the finish area because it's a to quote LeBron. Not one, not two, not three. Luka, record sixth win in the TCS New York City Marathon, and he comes through in a yeah, he has broken the course record. Oh, it's so close. Ooh. Just listen, does he care? So close. He is the six time champion. There have been five time champions Kurt Fernley, who was with us last year in this booth, and Tatiana McFadden. They were tied all of them at five, and now Marcel Luke stands. Alone. He definitely cares. That's $50,000 more if he gets under that course record. And he set so many course records this year. But you wonder, does he ever get sick of winning? I don't think so. I think he loves it. I think he won that series. Uh, Tokyo, yeah. he Boston, won every London, single one of them. Berlin, Chicago, and New York. Yep. Again and again and again. And it's just, it's it's one thing with uh, with greatness, like you don't get tired of it. At least I don't. To see him again and again and again, it's like some well, that's the same old guy. Uh, that's not a same old guy. That is a unique individual. That is a unique champion.